Now we're going to go through mobile phone VR. Um, there's quite a range of options. What I've got here is the Samsung Gear VR, which only works with their phones. And it's got some extra bits and bobs, that little trackpad on the side and menu keys and so on. What I've got here is really the most easy access and affordable end of VR, which is the cardboard. It has two lenses inside it, just like all the other headsets. But essentially, other than that, it's a cardboard box. It's just one of many types, you know, you get all sorts ranging from, you know, things you print out on the internet and simply cut out. This one is the, is the higher end of your mobile phone VR. There's, again, there's disadvantages and advantages. The resolution on it is pretty comparable to one of the major headsets, but you've got a lot less functionality. Um, you've got an app in here, the switch on, and then you very carefully, as it popped in there, and you can now look in it, simply like that, and you're in a VR environment. Again, it's quite high resolution, it's pretty good, and key thing to realize with these is that there are millions of them. The market in terms of the high-end machines like the Vive, the Oculus, is in a few hundred thousand. There's millions of these. So if you want to develop games in VR, there's a market. Um, do you want to tell us more about the... Yeah, so obviously the cardboard is a very affordable access way into VR. It essentially offers you much the same as the Gear VR, it's missing a, a few buttons and controllers, it's absolute bare minimum, but just like Gear VR, you can use any mobile phone for this, not specifically Samsung. It has two lenses in it, just like the high-end headset. It goes in, we position it in front of the lenses, and it simply Velcros shut and on it goes. And I can then involve myself in VR in just the same way as anyone else, really, for very little money at all. Um, it's important to say, I think, at this point, that these contain no positional tracking. So one limitation we do have is that it only manages our rotational information from accelerometers. We do not have the positional tracking that we do in Vive and Oculus. Yeah, I mean, that's the key thing is that not yet. Even this one, you've got a little joy pad on the side, but it remains a single camera at the center of a ball of video. And you must really always bear in mind these limitations as a developer of VR so that you know your target unit and you develop games that are sensible for that.